the one, the only... Thank you for your applesauce. No, no, that's wrong. Thank you for your applause, I beg your pardon. Huh? If I weren't so modest, I'd say it was well deserved. <laughs> uh, Mr. Fenneman, uh, yeah. tell him uh, what the stakes are tonight. And don't say medium rare. I wasn't about to. No. Um, the Sorry stakes... I said it. <laughs> uh, well, what, we... you stand there licking your chops while I'm cracking jokes <laughs> about stakes? No, I'm just going to tell you that the stakes tonight are, uh, well, up to $10,000. Oh. Our couples can win. You can just get a good stake for about $10,000. <laughs> well, how about the secret way? Don't we have any anymore? Oh, yes, yes. Well, what is. is it? This is, the, this is the word right here. Uh, Groucho will engage our first... You have a new suit, huh? Yes. Uh -huh. Well, stand up and get in it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a Jim Clinton, isn't it? No, this is a Henry Russo. Oh. I may get it for nothing. Uh, I was going to say to Groucho... Sure, the certainly doesn't fit. <laughs> well, gonna... if the suit fits, you wear it. Uh, Groucho, I'd like you to meet uh, Jackie Joseph and Pat Fines. They're you standing will? by you right at this moment. So, folks, you can please and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to your... Ba <laughs> oh, the season's <laughs> on. Welcome to your bet your life. Say the secret word and you'll divide an extra hundred dollars. Jackie, Joseph, and Patrick, would you pardon me a minute while I light this? Yeah. <laughs> this kid knows our business, huh? <laughs> now, is Jackie really your uh, first name? No, Jackie is my middle name. Jackie is your name, though, huh? Yes, Jackie's my middle name, but my first name is Sammy. S Sammy. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> and what is your last name, Fred? <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> You've got three boys' names, huh? Yeah. Jackie, Sammy, and Joseph, huh? Everyone says I sound like the Marx Brothers. <laughs> well, you certainly don't look like them. <laughs> well, with a boy's name like Sammy, isn't, doesn't it ever get uh, confusing? Oh, very confusing. When I graduated school, all my girlfriends got letters like, uh, come be a dental assistant or learn to be a secretary. And I got notices saying, the Coast Guard needs you. <laughs> I'll get back to you, Sammy. In the meantime, try not to get drafted into the Navy. Okay. Your name is Patrick Tynes, huh? Tynes, that's Thines. right. What kind of a name is that, Tynes? That's Irish. Pat, I'm guessing you're no spring chicken, but you look like you're in pretty good shape. Uh, what do you do to keep in condition? Well, Groucho, I walk for my health. Mm -hmm. well, a lot of people walk, but that doesn't mean they're healthy. Usually it means the finance company took their automobile away. <laughs> In what way are you different from everybody else who walks? You walk well, faster? No, Gacho, I walked across this United States 17 times. 17 times? That's right. I've covered 250,000 miles in 61 years. How old are you? Uh... Well, I was 75 the 21st day of February. 75 and you've walked 17 times across the country? Tired, Pat? No, I'm with the Navy. What Gotcha. ship are you on? The Monitor or the Mary? No, Mary? I'm not <laughs> on a board of ship, Gotcha. I'm in civilian personnel out, out at North Island. I'm in the electrical department. Oh. What advice do you have for our audience? Now, you've had a long and useful life. Well, I'd advise them to walk. Well, let them wait till the show's over, huh? <laughs> then they can run if they want to. Now, Jackie, let's get yes. back to you. And it's about time, don't you think so? Thank are you. Are you married? No. You're not married? No, well, I'm not. Well, perhaps I can help you, you know. <laughs> you will have that. Will you marry me? Are you married? <laughs> What's I got to do with it? <laughs> what kind of a victim man are you looking for? My mother wants me to look for a nice rich man. Your mother wants you to look for a nice rich man? Mm -hmm. huh? Why must this fellow be rich? Because mother would like that. <laughs> well, tell your mother to get her own husband. <laughs> Jackie, if you don't have a husband, who do you argue with? Who do you talk to on those lonely, long winter nights? Well, we've got three dogs and a grouch full of chinchillas. You have a grouch full of chinchillas? What's a grouch? Outside of me. <laughs> it's, a, it's a place where you put cars. Oh, you mean garage? A garage. Oh. Yeah. Well, you'd be silly to get married with a garage full of chinchillas. <laughs> how many, how many uh, chinchillas uh, do you have? Well, we started off with just a couple. and Who's now we? My mother and I. Oh. And uh, now we have about 300. That's all the room we have in the garage. 
Well, why do you raise chinchillas? Is there some uh, reason for that? Well, it's a very profitable business. It is? Have uh, you made money with them? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not because of that. They're very uh, cheap to raise and they're very expensive. You could sell them for $1,850 if you have a good pair. But my mother has become very attached to all of them and they're all her personal friends. And she just couldn't think of selling. Doesn't them. your mother have any friends besides <laughs> besides the chinchillas? Well, we have little names for them all, and um, you name them. Well, we name them according to their personality. Like mm -hmm. we have jovial, or the stranger, or the the uh, giant. We have a monster. Mm -hmm. We have a groucho. No offense. <laughs> you have a groucho. That's the yeah. monster. Huh? No, it's a, it's another one. We have one called mm -hmm. Shaky. It has sort of a chinchilla trouble mm -hmm. that it falls over in its side all the time and can't move around too mm -hmm. fast. Well, that describes me pretty accurately. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do they get along with each other? Well, if a chinchilla is mated correctly... Well, how do you know which two are attracted to each other? Well, if you were a chinchilla, how would you know if you liked your fellow chinchilla? <laughs> if I was a chinchilla, I'd take you up. <laughs> but sometimes... If I was even a man, I'd take you up. <laughs> we have a little trouble sometimes, like with Shaky. He, He's every shaky? time we would mate him, he... The female would run away from him, because, so we had... The one female ran away? Yes, it, That's a woman it, for you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it was not so slow, and it was, it's a loving little animal, but we had this a... This is the male? The male, but we had a female who... And what is the male doing while the female is running away? Well, so he calls up, goes to the phone and calls up another <laughs> chinchilla? No, if, if he's fast enough, then he catches her. But if it's a poor one like Shaky... What do you mean by poor? He has no money? No, <laughs> <laughs> no it, just, it just has this trouble that falls over and it can't walk fast. So we found a chinchilla called Nanny One Eye. You cannot see too well. And we put it in the case. Is this an she... elderly chinchilla? She got her day, yes. Yeah. Why don't but... you get him some bifocals? And... <laughs> anyway, we made it shaky and Nanny One Eye. And by the time Shaky got up to Nanny One Eye, she didn't even see him coming. So they turned out to be a wonderful family and they have beautiful children. <laughs> Well, it's certainly, I'm glad to know what goes on behind the, uh, the scenes in the chinchilla world. <laughs> now, Jackie, if I ever fork over $25,000 for a chinchilla coat, I'll keep a sharp lookout for Shaky, One Eye, and what was the other one? Groucho. Groucho. <laughs> I hate to break this up, but the time has come for you to win some money. George, tell them how we play the game. We all play right. the game. Um, in this box are three sets of questions, all in the category you picked. Now, the $100 questions are easy, the $200 are harder, and the $300 are the hardest. If you win yourselves $500 in four questions, you are then eligible to return at the end of the show and try for as much as $10,000. Okay? Okay, pick a question. $100, $200, or $300. The category you selected is nursery rhymes, and you picked a $200 question for your first one. Here it is. In the Mother Goose nursery rhyme, what shall we give little Tommy Tucker for supper? You picked this category, didn't yes. you? Nursery rhymes. What shall we give little Tommy Tucker for supper? A pie? Well, you could, but that's not the answer. <laughs> the answer is white bread and butter. You still have three more chances to make $500. You can pick a $300 one, a two, or a one. Well, I'll try that. Another two? Okay. The right. idea is to get $500. That's the... What did the three wise men of Gotham use for a ship? I didn't even know there were three wise men in Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been playing around with chinchillas. You don't know much of anything. Well, it was a bowl. B-O-W-L. All right, now... Well, there are two more chances to make uh, $500. It can be done. Yeah, now, if you take a two and a three and you win them both, you'd have $500. $300. On the first day of Christmas, what did my true love send me? A partridge in a pear tree. That's right. And you've got $300. Oh. Now, you can't lose this money. That you have. That's yeah, yours. 300 is yours. Now, if you make it 500, this is your last question, by the way. Come on, Jackie. You're lucky. Go ahead and take it. All right. This will put you in a chance for the 10,000 at the end. Don't you think Jackie's cute? I certainly do. He's My wife isn't here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me I was cute. Everyone knows that. Oh, what a shifty babe, Lisa. <laughs> she hasn't been around with chinchillas all the time. <laughs> now this, for $200, what did the pie men say to Simple Simon? Can I just recite it? Yes, simple you can. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said, Simple Simon to the pieman, let me taste your wares. Said, Simon to Simple Simon, 
Da, 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 da. Help me. <laughs> There's a pie man, a simple pie man. I'm afraid I haven't any. I'm... Uh. Well, we gave you a long chance, because, only Longer because you were so cute. But show me first your penny was the line. Oh, the time that I knew said he didn't have any. Yes, well, you've been... <laughs> you, you've been in that garage too long. Uh, well, you uh, wind up with $300. $300. That isn't too bad. No, is no that's very no. good. Well, thanks, uh, Sammy, Thank Jackie, you, and Patty. Okay. You're leaving here with more money than you came in, and okay. that isn't too bad, and thanks. <laughs> Groucho, I have uh, Margot Durst and Ed Gardner waiting to talk to you. So, folks, you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to your Bet Your Life. Say the secret word and divide an extra $100. Margot Durst and Ed Gardner, eh? Uh, are you the Ed Gardner from Duffy's Tavern? No, I'm the Ed Gardner from Long Beach, Groucho. Uh -huh. Are you married? Happily married. Uh -huh. Why what? should you be different from... Well, you know, Groucho, I have a very beautiful wife. A charming wife, a good cook, and she's just tops. Mm -hmm. Sounds like an angel. Now, where'd you meet this saintly girl? Well, I met her in a bar in Oliveira Street. <laughs> you said the secret word, which is bar, which is street. So you win $50, Skinny, and you win $50. You say you met her in a bar? For an angel, she was fly flying pretty low, wasn't she? <laughs> what happened? How'd you meet her? I saw her at the bar. No, but how did you get in the bar? I walked in. Did you play Beethoven's Fifth while you were in there? No, I put my arm around her and tried to make a date. You did? And did she resent this? Yes, she left me. How much? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you walked in the bar and walked up to a strange woman and put your arm around her, huh? Do you make a practice of talking to strange women in public bars? When you're interested, yes. Uh -huh. Well, that's a very evasive answer now. <laughs> After you put your arm around her, where did she go? She went to the powder room. Yeah. Well, if she was going to take a powder, I guess that's the right room to go. To. <laughs> well, where did you meet her the second time, in a pool room? No, the next day I called 14 beauty shops on Wilshire Boulevard. Why did you call beauty shops? She told me she owned a beauty shop somewhere oh. on Wilshire Boulevard. Oh. And uh, what happened? Well, I asked if there was a big blonde in every beauty shop on Wilshire Boulevard, and uh, I got some pretty nasty answers. And, uh, <laughs> must, must have got some pretty interesting ones, too. Uh, yes, interesting, and finally I found the right one. Oh. Why did you want to see her again? Was it her time to buy a drink? No, because she was charming, beautiful, attractive, and I was interested. Uh -huh. And I forgot to ask you, what sort of work do you do? I'm a travel tour conductor. Where do you go? Around the world. How long are you away from home on one of these trips around the world? Oh, three or four months, usually. Mm -hmm. No wonder you're so happily married. <laughs> <laughs> now, your name is Margot Deist. Yes, is that, is that, is that the way you're Deist? Margot, I know it's not polite to ask a woman her age, and since I'm a very polite fellow, I won't ask you how old you are. I'm 38. I don't 38. Care. Are you married? Yes. Good, good. How'd you meet your husband? Which one? I'm not fussy. Let's start with number one. Uh, how'd you meet him? In a bar in Alvera Street? No, I'm in a restaurant in uh, Washington, Iowa. And he came in and ordered a five-cent ice cream cone. A five-cent ice cream cone? Yeah. This must have been around 1840, wasn't it? Well, he yeah. ordered a nickel ice cream cone yeah. and wound up with you, huh? Yeah. You said you can't get that, that much for a nickel ago. anymore. <laughs> well, how about uh, Exhibit B? How'd you meet him? Well, he came in the same restaurant and ordered a dish of ice cream. There must be something about your ice cream that drives men mad. <laughs> Is there a, a third husband? No, that's enough. Ran out of ice cream, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what does your husband do for a living? He works at a chicken ranch. What does he do on the chicken ranch? Everything. Well, will you call me the next time he lays an egg? <laughs> well, I don't mean that. I mean that he uh, gathers the eggs and he feeds the chickens. And feeds them all. Well, 
He gathers the eggs and feeds, feeds the, the chickens? chickens. Uh -huh. Does he uh, gather the eggs before he feeds the chickens or after? Suppose a chicken doesn't lay any eggs. Oh, does... he goes by and he says, good morning, girls, and then they lay an egg for him. <laughs> well, does he like his work? Yes, he loves it. Uh -huh. Well, that's nice. It's good if the man is happy in his job. Uh, what kind of hours does he work on a job like that? Well, he works long hours. He works from 4.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Yeah, that's 13 hours, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you know much about poultry, or, or is your husband the only fowl expert? No, I know about turkeys. You do? Well, so do I. I've been in show business 35 years. <laughs> I mean, turkey gizzards. Oh, well, what do you know about turkeys that we might be interested in? Well, I used to work in a turkey plant in Washington, Iowa, mm -hmm. and I had the job of putting on a steel glove and cutting the gizzards open and skinning them, you know, taking the insides mm -hmm. out. Well, how many gizzards do you cut out on an average day? Well, we had a rush order one day, and I cut out 44,000, excuse me, 4,000 gizzards mm -hmm. in a day. Great. That was a rush order. Imagine being able to cut out 4,000 gizzards in one day. <laughs> now, well, Margo, with your husband away 13 hours a day on the chicken range, uh, don't you ever get uh, uh, lonely? Well, I have three dogs and a boarder. A boarder? <laughs> you say you have three dogs? Yes. What kind of dogs do you have, and what kind do you prefer? Well, I had one dog. She was a French bin brindle, and she was 24 years old. I raised her. You say you had a French brindle? I never uh -huh. heard of that breed. Is that is pretty rare, isn't it? Yeah, there was two of that Two time. in your house? No, there was her and her mother. There were two uh, that ever there was. Her mother was a dog, too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was two French brind brindles, yes, huh? Yes, uh-huh. Must have been quite a sight, a 24-year-old French brindle. Mm -hmm. Do you have any pictures of this mutt? No, I have her stuffed at home in the living room. <laughs> Your dog is stuffed? Yes. Now I know where those 4,000 gizzards went to. <laughs> well, you're a charming and, and fascinating couple, and I've grown very fond of both of you. Have you met Mr. Fetterman? What category did they select, George? Well, Dacho, um, they selected geographical name changes, right? Okay, yeah. now you explain to them how they play the game. Well, you see, we have a box here with uh, three... Yes, they sec saw that, George. Yeah. Well, I was going to explain. They know this isn't a stuffed dog. <laughs> and uh, the $100 questions are fairly easy. The $200 are a little harder, and the $300 are pretty tough questions. Now, the answer for you people is to get four questions and get a total of $500. If you do, you have a chance to run your total up at the end of the show to even $10,000. Number one. All right, you can take a $100 question first, all right? Mm -hmm. What is the modern name for Constantinople? Istanbul. Well, that's close enough. It's Istanbul. And you have one... You only get $75, because you left out two left. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you get $100, and uh, the object, of course, is to get $500, which, uh, $200? All right. All right. What, what country was once called uh, Hindustan? You're getting pretty chummy, huh? <laughs> India is right. And you now have $300. 200 more to go to get the 500 to get the chance for 10. Thousand. This is the 300 thing, yeah. This Excuse is a, me. Sir. This is a 300. You She's mean. eliminating the middle. Yeah, I saw that. You don't uh, mind. <laughs> you get it cheaper that way. You know. uh, if you get this one, this will do it. You'll have a total of 600. The former kingdom of Lombardy is part of what modern country? She's stuffing a gizzard in his pocket. Italy. Right? Italy is right. Say, you're the smartest chicken fancy. Yeah. Uh, you now have... Uh, Here's an expert I ever met. $600 and one more chance. Of course, this, uh, you can run it this up money's all yours it. now. Well, uh, any of them in there? Yes. Yeah, Anyone? Any three, yeah. two, or one? I'll take in-between. Uh, two. That's Mrs. In-between. <laughs> Helvetia was the former name of what small country? Ouch. Ouch. Ouch? I never heard of that country. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't what it says here. Excuse me, repeat that, will you? Helvetia, H-E-L-V-E-T-I-A, was the former name for what small country? Oh. No, it's Switzerland. Well, you, you're still all right. You, you earn $600, so we'll see you at the end of the show where you have a chance to run your total earnings up to two, five, or $10,000. Hasta mañana. <laughs> Russo, uh, Margot Durst and Ed Gardner earned uh, $600 in the quiz, so they get a chance at the big money, and here they are. 
You come right back out. Congratulations. You know, this year, if you win $500 or more in the quiz, you get a chance to run your winnings for the night up to two, five, or even $10,000. Okay, now pick a number. Seven. Seven, that's for $10,000. Now you pick a number, Mr. One. Dice. Uh, seven and one are the two numbers. You don't have to move over there, George. Now, uh, spin the wheel. Yes. If either of these numbers comes up, the question is whether it's five or ten. You really gave it a spin there, didn't you? He could go around the world on this turn. Well, your numbers were one and seven, and uh, it came up two, so this question is worth $2,000. The Allied invasion of Normandy in 1944 was one of the biggest news events of all time. I'm sure you've read a lot about it. Now, for $2,000, I want you to tell me the military code name for the actual Normandy operation. There was a special name for this. <laughs> Give us an answer. Uh, onward. O orange. <laughs> it was Operation Overlord. Oh. I'm sorry you missed it, but you still have, how much did you win? 650. A piece. I mean, 50 a piece and 600 besides. You've won a total of $700. You've each won 350 <laughs> Congratulations and thanks for being with us. You bet your life.